Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Other. Um, yeah, well, uh, looks like Prozit sent me another little gift pack. Um, so this is the new and improved and upgraded version of the Prozit installer pack. Um, so what this is, is this one is capable of uh, 24 volts passive, 48 volts, 802.3 AFAT, and passive 48 volts, which means this thing will run anything from CPEs, whether they're 48 volt or 24 volt CPEs, um, to security cameras, to whatever else really your heart desires. Um, cool thing, it turns off after about 10 seconds if it doesn't have a load. It is only two pair power. It's 25 watt, so this is pretty cool. So we're gonna test a few things on it. Now, this is designed to work with drill packs. Right now they support Dewalt in Milwaukee, but as demand comes in, I'm sure that they'll support more. So I've got some of these cool I mean, on my bench, I'm using Milwaukee because these things are small and they're really good for my uh, bench tools, you know, but uh, for the M12. But these are the new Dewalt's. And so check it out. Ooh, isn't that cool? So now the way that this thing works is, uh, first of all, if you plug something into it like a 24 volt CPE, it's not going to turn on. But if you push the button once, it'll turn it on and it'll try to figure out what the voltage is. That's its boot cycle goes green, then it flashes red to verify that it's got the appropriate voltage, and then it will switch over. I'm hearing noises. It's my kitty cat. <laughs> so now, this is perfectly running this little 24 volt CPE. You can see the LED going on there. All right, now, check this out. I'm gonna plug in this big chonky boy, which actually one of my uh, clients actually sent me, a good friend. Um, <laughs> Thanks, dude. I really like these Cisco's. I just wish I could make them work the way that I was hoping to, but Apple doesn't like working with Cisco. What do you know? So anyway, uh, this is a Wave 2 ACAP. Uh, it actually is BT, believe it or not. This is a chonky boy, a chonky boy. So let's plug this guy in and see what happens now. So I'm just going to let this turn off. 10 seconds without power, it shuts off. There it goes, shutting off. Red ring. Red rings mean many different things to many different people. Um, once upon a time, I would actually eat at Mexico, uh, or sorry, Taco Bell, and I would find that it went down perfectly fine. Actually, Louisiana, while I was in Louisiana, I could eat almost anything there. But um, yeah, I had red ring for a while. It took three days after leaving Louisiana for the red ring to go away. All right, so let's see here. So I'm going to push this once. Cool. So I went green, flashes red. Now you can see that it's bringing on the blue. Look at this. There you go, you can see the blue. So it's got a blue ring, and you can see that the Cisco 48 volt BT access point is now firing up. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so we now know that it'll do 48 or 24 volts, but what if you want passive? So let's do this. Let's move over to my little test meter right here. Here we go. And I'm just gonna wait for this to die first. And we are going to plug this into this power pack. And I wanna try two different voltages on here. Okay, let's just switch through the menus here. Oh, ah, bah, bah, bah. I'm dumb. All right, here we go. Back to the main menu. I can't read Mandarin. There, that's what we want. We want that. Okay, cool. So I'll just put this out of the way so you guys can actually read that properly. And I can probably turn the close the barn door just a little bit on this one. There we go. That's almost. Yep. Um. That's pretty good. I was trying to reduce the light here so you guys can see this better. Uh, I should actually invest in a Bluetooth version of this, but uh, you know what I might do? I might just prop this thing up. Let's grab this. Let's prop this little bad boy up so that the angle of light hitting it's better. There we go. If I was a professional, I'd have like a camera focused on there. So now let's plug this guy into here. And we're just going to do 24 volts first. So this is a load tester. You guys have seen me use it before in my videos. So this is on. Now you saw that it tried to turn off because it didn't detect the load. So I'm going to apply a load to it. There we go. So we've got 0.58. Uh, we're up to 17 watts, 19 watts, 20 watts, 21. 23, 25 watts on the nose. Oh, 27.23. 1.12 amps at 24.3 volts. Not much sag. How far can we push her? 28 watts, 29, 
30 watts, 32 watts. There we go, 32 watts is the peak. Now I'm assuming that that's designed that way so that it allows for uh, surging. So when you turn on some devices, they actually do draw a little bit, there's like an inrush current when they're booting up, they suck back a lot of power. Now let's do this on 48. So to turn on 48, it says right here on the top on the instructions, uh, where is it? When the uh, injector is on, press the button four times. Blue indicates a successful PD startup. So that's 48 volts. Now, just to make sure it stays on, I'm going to turn up the power a little bit. So one, two, three, four. All right, there it is, 48 volts. All right, we've got 1.12 amps on here. So 48 watts. I'm pretty sure that it's about um, 1.2 amps is what it can handle before it really you know topples and that's 24 or 48 volts so let's see we got 57 watts 59 watts 60 watts actually it should be 64 before it topples right 31 32 is where it toppled at 24 and because it's current it's a current limiter right 64 watts it's going to uh, trip in just a second 66 nice so it's actually current limited it's not wattage limit, it's current limited. All right, let's see if I can get her to come back. So I'm going to turn her on again. She'll come up to 24. All right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. All right, so 1.16. So we know it's about 64. 63, so 1.3 amps. 64, yep, exactly, 1.3 amps. Once it hits 1.39, that's it, it's done. So now, <clears throat> some other points I would really like to make about this bad boy is that this guy here is tough. Um, I already tore one apart, so I did a tear down video on it. I guess I could tear this one down too, but they, they put uh, torque screws in it, so I'll have to ask permission first. Let's just do this, it's just a demo. Um, and by the way, I'm not being paid for this video. I get to keep the hardware, but this is just me testing. So this guy here, I have actually, this has been tested thoroughly. Um, one of my buddies, locally works in-house at an ISP and I've had him uh, take one out in the field with him the first one that they sent me the 24 <laughs> and it's it's pretty solid stuff I mean like this is great it's a hard plastic so as you can see it's like really look that's strong okay bolt cutters by the way little bolt cutters so I mean, the strap is strong, and of course it's replaceable. And I think that the strap actually has, is that, it looks like it might be reflective. I don't have a flashlight near me. Um, or maybe it's just some type of, um, maybe it is slightly reflective. But if you guys are looking to buy these, it looks like they're starting to show up on Amazon. But you can also go to, so zoom in here, the better angle, www.prozeat.com. There you go. And he's so far so good. I mean, it's doing what I would hope it would do. It's very tough. It's better than the uh, smaller installer packs. I mean, sure, this thing doesn't have Wi-Fi yet. But remember, this is still a new project, a uh, new product. And this thing went from proof of concept to 50 volts in my hands within a few weeks. Plus, they're easy to fix if something goes wrong. If you fry these things, you can send them to us or SWG or any other repair shop, and we should be able to fix them for you. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the toughest installer packs. I'm guessing it's going to be one of the more reliable ones because I haven't got my 24-volt one back. <clears throat> Where's my, my installer pack friend? And um, yeah, which means that they really like the installer packs. So there you go. This is the new ProZeat. Um, 24 volt, 48 volt, and passive 48 as well. And um, yeah, so far, this thing, it, this is solid, man. And it works with my DeWalt drill pack. Just another tool to put in your pouch, right? Even look at those chonky blades on that for the drill. Like that, those are, this is just built well. It really is. And I'm not just saying that, you guys, no me. If it's not on my channel, I probably didn't like it. Um, in fact, um, there were some Wi-Fi router products that I um, 
tested. They were like a white tower product. Um, they did mesh and stuff. And I, I was testing those things out early on. And I didn't want to release the video because I was not impressed with the performance. So I have a three pack sitting somewhere, which I haven't done anything with because I'm not going to say anything bad about them. So yeah, if it ends up on my channel, chances are I like it and I appreciate it. And I think it's actually good. So um, yeah, I'll get permission and I'll do a teardown video for this just in case you want to see it, but it's going to be a short video and it's going to be very boring. So anyway, there you go. A new video for you guys, an update, a new video. All right. So thanks for watching if you made it this far and, um, yeah, don't forget to like, and subscribe, tell your friends and, um, yeah, there is a Patreon, but uh, I don't advise you to support me on there if uh, it's for the YouTube channel because I've been very slack on posting videos. But if you do want to hire me, um, yeah, I also offer a small retainer on the uh, um, Patreon. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Have a good night. Bye.